Hi, in this tutorial we are going to be creating this 3D bar stool. We are going to assign parameters that will allow us to control the chair height and thickness. In addition, we are going to be applying material parameters for the chair frame and seat. So let's get started. So we're going to come into a new family and from our templates we want to select the furniture template. So the first thing we want to do is create our reference planes. Uh, these reference planes are going to be the basis of our seat height and our seat thickness in order to change the dimensions. So we're going to come into our front elevation and we want to create, come up here to reference plane and just create them just wherever. Create two reference planes quite close together with this here being our seat height and this these two reference planes being our seat thickness. Now come into the measure tool and we want to select each dimension separately and click escape. Now if we select on these dimension lines we want to give them a parameter. So if we come up to label and select add parameter we can then label them, label this one seat height and we're going to label this seat thickness and select OK. Now that we have our height parameters in place we now want to create our 3D seat up here and to do that we're going to come into create tab and select the revolve tool. So the revolve tool is going to create a 3D element based off this central axis line and revolve it around. So we need to create a shape on this half to match our, what I want our seat to look like. So if we come out around 250 mil and give it a slight angle for the seat lip and then come back and create, finish off the loop. Now, most importantly, we need to come back and just stretch this line up till it meets our reference plane and a little lock symbol will come up. So just click that lock down to lock it onto that reference plane and do the same with the bottom. So just select lock. This will ensure that when we change our parameters, this seat thickness is going to be locked to the reference planes. So now click finish. Uh, Revit's then going to tell you that an axis of revolution is not specified. So just click continue and come up here to axis line and we want to select our central axis here and now select finish so if we come up to our 3D view we'll see that it has created our circular seat here now come back to our front view and now we need to create our stools, the seat legs so if we come in, in our front view, we come into create and we want to create a model line. So if we select just from here and go draw a straight line down to our bottom reference plane and now come out around 80 mil and back up to the top in order to form our angle of this leg so that we can now go back and delete these lines leaving us with our angled leg 
Now, as we did earlier, we need to lock this line onto our reference planes. So select lock and drag it back on and lock it on. Now that we have one seat leg, we want to create one on the other side. So in order to do that, we select our leg and come up here to mirror tool. And our axis in the center here, click on that. And escape. And now we have our two legs here. To create the other legs, we'll come into left view and perform the same tasks. So create a model line, straight line down, coming out 80 mil, and back up to the top. Deleting these lines, leaving us with our angled leg. Again, lock this onto our reference plane. And selecting our line and mirror tool, again, we will mirror that other chair leg. Okay, so now if we go to our 3D view, we will see that we have our legs attached, although we do not have any form currently. So in order to create a tubular form for these legs, we're going to come into Create again. And this time we're going to use this sweep tool. So if we select sweep and we come up here to pick path and select on one of our legs, select finish. And now we come over here to select profile and we want to edit our profile using a circle. We'll come up here to the center and draw out a circle around 15 mil in diameter. It's important while we're in the sketch mode to come up here to measure and select our circle and add a parameter to our steel tube thickness. So we'll label this tube thickness. And finish off the sweep. So now we've created one of our legs. We now want to repeat this process for each leg. So as we did before, pick our path, edit profile, circle tool, and from our center, draw a line, a circle, measure it again. Click Escape, select on our dimension and add a parameter. This time, instead of creating a new parameter, we've already got tube thickness, so we can select that. And finish off our sweep. Now, in order to demonstrate the use of parameters, we can come up here to properties and here we have our dimensions that we have set for our parameters so if we select over here with tube thickness and change the thickness diameter to 15 mil and click apply 
our 3D form now corresponds with our value. So change it to 20 mil diameter, click apply and OK. And finish off the remaining legs. So in order to do that, we come up back over to create and sweep and pick path. This time we can select on our 3D form, making sure we select both halves of the circle. Again, back to edit profile and create a circle. Again, we want to create a parameter. So add a dimension line, select it, and create the tube thickness parameter. Select OK and OK again. And now we have our frame completed. Now, in order to create our footrest through here, we'll come back to our front view. And we want to create one more reference plane right about here for our stool height. Select our reference plane and we want to name this uh, and we want to name this footrest. Select apply. Now if we come up to our reference level floor plan, select that, back to create, and now we want to set our work plane. Our reference plane we just created put rest. We need to select that, select OK. So now we're going to be drawing on top of this reference plane. So back to our reference level, we want to create a circle using the center here, we'll pull out a circle until it reaches the outer stool, until it reaches the outer stool legs, and if we see our 3D view, we can see that our model line is sitting on the reference plane we created in the front view. Now, in order to make this a tubular steel, we come back to sweep, select the path, create the profile again, adding our parameter and setting this to tube thickness again then clicking OK so we now have our frame complete and our footrest we now want to check if our parameters are working as far as height. So come into the properties tab and we want to change our seat height to 500 mil. Click apply and we can see that our seat has remained locked to our frame and the height has dropped to 500 mil which is what we want to achieve. 
we now change it to 800 mil. We can see that the 3D form of the chair uh, flexes with what we enter here. The same with our seat thickness. We change this to 20 mil. We can see our seat thickness corresponding with what we enter in here. So we want to probably leave this on 60 mil. And our tube thickness can remain at 20 mil. So once we're happy with the dimensions entered, we can then begin applying materials. So we now want to begin applying materials to our 3D bar stool. So go ahead and select our 3D seat. And we're going to apply a parameter, a material parameter to the seat. So come over to our properties panel and where it says materials and finishes, just to the right, click on that tab. And we now want to add a parameter. We can label this one seat material. Now that we have that parameter in place, we want to apply a steel tube material to our bar frame. In order to do that, we want to view our front elevation and go ahead and select all of our frame elements. In our properties panel, we want to select other. This will tell Revit just to select our 3D elements and ignore any other elements in the drawing. Coming back down to our materials, add a parameter and call this tube material. Now that we have our parameters in place, we want to apply materials. So in our 3D view, come up to our family types under properties and we can see our material parameters we just created here in the family types. So for our tube material we want to enter our material browser, our library and find a metal that will suit the material. So if we come down under metal in our library and we're going to use steel polished. So in order to add that material into our drawing, we're going to select this little arrow, the up arrow, and select OK. So our 3D bar stool now has a polished steel material applied to our tube frame. Now, in order to apply material to our seat, it's the same process. Back up to property family, family types. Under seat material. And this time we can go under fabric. And we're going to select a leather dark brown. Insert that into the drawing. Select OK. OK again. And now we have our leather seat completing our chair. Now all elements of the chair are complete and we can insert this into any drawing, any project as a family. And from there, change and edit the dimensions. Thus finalizing the tutorial. Thank you.